In this week's video, I'm reviewing the new Addy Flexi Flips needles, known in Europe as Crazy Trios. As always, if you'd like to jump right to a specific point in the video, there are direct links down in the description. There are lots of ways to knit small circumference items in the round, and every knitter has their favorite method and tools, as well as methods and tools they detest. And it seems like someone comes up with a new method or tool every couple of years, and this time, it's Addy with their new Flexi Flip needles. The Flexi Flips have taken features that exist in double pointed needles, circular needles, and in those angular Neko double points that came out a few years back, but no needle has combined all of these features in the way that Addy has combined them to create Flexi Flips. So let's take a look. The Flexi Flips come in a set of three double pointed needles. They're different than standard double pointed needles, which are rigid the entire length. Instead, the center is a cable, a flexible cable, like you would normally see in a circular needle. Here you can see I have a standard length double pointed needle right next to it, and it's just slightly longer than the standard double point needle that I have here. Um, it's a couple inches longer than what some people use for sock needles. Um, so they're about eight inches long. Compared to a nine inch circular needle, um, they're slightly shorter, but the tips, of course, are much longer. When compared to a standard circular needle, like one that would be 24 uh, inches uh, in, in length or longer, you can see that the tips are a bit shorter than a standard circular needle that you might use for magic loop or the two circulars method. See, the idea here is that you divide the round into two halves, and each of these two needles has half the stitches on it. So this is a similar idea to what you'd be doing with magic loop or the two circulars method where you divide the round um, pretty evenly and uh, amongst the two needles or the two needle tips. The difference with the flexi flips is that you use the third needle as a working needle. So in that way, they're very much like standard double pointed needles, only you're only working with three needles. So typically what you wanna do at least at the first, at, certainly at the beginning when um, you're establishing stitches is the needle that you've just completed, you kind of bunch everything um, onto that needle away from the tips, and then you can work across uh, this tip with the working needle. So you wanna get that tip out of the way, and there, there are a lot of different ways that you can do that, but if you push the stitches toward the center where that flexible uh, piece of cable is, then that becomes uh, fairly straightforward to do. After you've established a few rows of, a few rounds of stitches, it becomes easier, uh, just like it is with any type of knitting in the round where the first few rows are a little trickier. Um, after that, I find it um, easier to uh, work in the round and um, figure out a position um, for the needles in my hands. When it comes time to work the heel flap, um, you can continue working on just the three needles. One needle will hold the instep stitches if you're doing a short row heel. And then you can knit back and forth across um, the other half of the heel stitches using the uh, other two needles. And you can also do this with a heel flap where, where one needle holds the instep and the other two needles are, worked, are used to work the, the heel flap but let's look at what happens once the heel flap is done. After you've completed the heel flap and the heel turn, you work across all of the heel stitches, and then you continue with the same needle and pick up all of the stitches for the first side of the flap. So at this point you have the heel stitches and one gusset on one needle. Now you take your working needle and work across the instep stitches. At this point, you have one needle remaining that you can use to pick up stitches along the second side of the heel flap. So at this point, I have all of the stitches back on the needle, but I don't have another spare needle to work with. 
what the booklet suggests and the and the video that is associated with the um, booklet that Addie includes with the needles is that you then use you continue working across these stitches using this needle so that all of the gusset stitches and heel stitches would all be on one needle so if you if you divide the stitches up so that you have one full gusset and then half the instep stitches that may very well um, work for you there will be some times when you don't want to divide up the instep um, but uh, if you're working in a stockinette st uh, sock or a sock with a stitch pattern that can be divided up, that should work. Now these needles, because the, the tips are quite a bit longer than they are for a nine inch circular needle, uh, but they're not as long as you'd get with a standard circular needle. And for my knitting style, this presents a bit of a problem. When I, when I knit, this um, part of the needle is resting against the side of my palm, and then these, my ring finger and index, um, sometimes curl around a little bit, but often are just uh, putting some pressure on the side of the needle. And so this gives me really consistent gauge, regardless of what technique I'm using, whether I'm knitting in the round, or I'm knitting magic loop, or knitting uh, back and forth, um, my gauge is consistent to have the needles held like that. The flexi flips, the problem I have is that um, the cable is hitting me right here instead of um, the rigid part of the, of the needles. I, I just don't have the same grip on the needle that I would. It's pretty subtle, but it has changed my stitch gauge. Every knitter is different in the way they hold the needles, so th these needles may not affect you, but um, knitters who have trouble with the short tips of nine inch circulars may just want to look to see if these are, are long enough and you can work comfortably, or if you have the same sort of issue that you have um, with these needles that you have with nine inch circulars. These needles are a really interesting hybrid of DPN and circular needles. I really liked how the fabric was not affected by the transition from one needle to the next. The advantage over short circulars is that you can use the needles for the entire sock, including heels and toes. You need fewer needles than for standard double points and therefore fewer transitions from one needle to the next. If you find magic loop fiddly at the transition between each half of the round when dealing with the excess cable, or if you find yourself using the wrong tip to knit with when using the two circs method, you may like having the flexi flip working needle. The transition from one needle to the next is smooth and you are unlikely to have the problem of continuing to work stitches using your working needle that you can have with other methods. On the other hand, it's just as easy to lose track of your working needle with the flexi flips as it is with standard DPNs. With standard DPNs, there is no pushing stitches past the joint between the cable and the tip. The stitches just slide from wherever they are to the end of the tip. With standard circs using magic loop or the two circs method, the entire half of the round can be loaded onto a tip with one push. The flexi flips are similar to a nine inch circular in that you have to move the stitches past the join pretty often. I found the flexi flips to be a really interesting concept and definitely worth trying. Every knitter has things they like or dislike about the various options for knitting small circumferences in the round. And I really like these needles except for the fact that I found the tips a bit too short for me, which affected both my speed and my gauge. I would love to see a second iteration of these needles with standard length tips that would work better with my knitting style and help me to keep the gauge I normally have with a given tip size. A longer tip would also help to accommodate the larger circumference of infants' hats and socks with heel flaps and gussets. If you have any questions or comments about today's video or suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, you can leave those down in the comments below or join the discussion in my Ravelry group, Rocks, Rocks, and there's a link to that down in the description box below. Well, that's it for my review on the Flexi Flips Crazy Trios. If you'd like to see another needle review, you can click over here. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click over there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.